Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another awesome vlog. And today I want to talk to you guys about how I sold my first ever property via crypto. So let's get it started. So guys, unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you've probably seen this whole cryptocurrency frenzy that's happening in the market right now. Now granted, it has died down a little bit um, because the, the, the market has tanked quite a bit. Um, but nonetheless, you know, there's still a lot of people talking about it as the next big thing, right? As the next kind of internet, and particularly blockchain. So not necessarily the cryptocurrencies, um, but the actual blockchain technology, um, they're calling that the second internet. And like with anything, um, you know, I, I honestly believe that uh, you have to keep an open mind to, you know, the changes in the economy, but the changes that just happen in the world on a, on a daily basis. And it's crazy if you don't touch your phone for like an hour, you know, you feel like you've missed out on something big. Um, I want to be a part of these changes. And I think that, you know, the world is going in a way where everything's becoming tech, everything's becoming digital, it's online, you know, you've got the likes of virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, even bloody robotics, um, that are, you know, they're in the world right now, and they're making big changes to various industries. Um, one industry that I don't think has been affected um, by the, the change that we're seeing happening in technology um, throughout the world is real estate. Um, when, when you look at a real estate transaction, it still kind of happens um, the same way it did for many, many years. I think that's about to change. Um, and I also think that blockchain is going to play a big part in changing um, the way real estate transactions are done. Personally, um, I know a lot of you folks watching this are probably going to hate me for saying it, but I think title companies are going to become extinct um, very soon. And I've, and I've said this in a previous video, and I don't think it was accepted <laughs> too well. But honestly, guys, I think title companies are going to be the first to go. Um, I think real estate brokerages, you know, they are the, um, the, the not needed middleman. Um, not many real estate agents like their broker. So there's going to be someone or a tech company out there that's going to um, jump in bed with the NAR and they're pretty much going to tell the NAR, hey, listen, you know, brokers do not need to be the ones to keep agents accountable and honest for the work that they do. Look at our cool revolutionary tech that can keep agents accountable and honest for the work that they do on a nationwide scale. So it is my opinion that brokerages are going to become extinct soon. Um, and I guess, you know, last but not least, I hate to say it, but, you know, in the next 20 to 30 years, guys, I, I think that even real estate agents might not be needed anymore um, just because... You know, there's a trend in the market right now where a lot of consumers just want to deal with a bloody robot or, a, or an app or a, or a, or a tech, tech product and not actually deal with human beings, which is mind boggling to me. And you've got a lot of, you know, eye buyers out there like Open Door, Offerpad, um, uh, uh, Knock is another one. And Zillow has actually entered into the iBuyer um, world right now too, where they're actually buying properties and listing them through their own platform through Zillow without the need of a real estate agent. Well, they do need a real estate agent now, but longer term, they might not. So anyway, that aside, guys, I've kind of given you an intro into, um, you know, the world as I see it today and everything that's happening with tech and blockchain um, and where I think it's going. And I just want to be a part of that revolution. I want to be a part of that change. So, you know, something that um, we have decided to do um, is sell a property via crypto. So how the hell did we do that? Um, and guys, like, you know, we've had a lot of investors reaching out to us, um, a lot of young investors that have made a lot of money in the crypto boom, which is, you know, mind boggling to think that you can make money with these imaginary coins. But anyway, don't get me started on the imaginary coins. So, um, you know, what we decided to do, because it's still unknown on how you can actually complete a transaction. So we had an investor approach us. They wanted to use cryptocurrency to buy one of our properties. So this is what we did. And, you know, I do have a little bit of a background in blockchain and in cryptocurrency. We're building a tech platform right now, um, which is kind of going to uh, involve blockchain. So it's not like I'm a complete beginner and rookie in it. But, you know, we definitely wanted to make sure that we're doing the right thing um, because there's still no kind of regulation in regards to how you can close on a real estate transaction um, via crypto cryptocurrency. So um, we didn't actually close the entire transaction in crypto, um, but this is what we did do. We approached our title company and we told the title company, we said, look, we've got someone um, that wants to use crypto to um, purchase a property from us. Um, what we are happy to do is um, we are happy to accept the initial deposit on that property, which was around $10,000 in cryptocurrency. And then the rest um, can be processed through, you know, a traditional um, uh, transaction via the, the HUD. 
Um, so pretty much what we told the title company is, um, you know, how can we go about that? How can we get the deposit in cryptocurrency? And of course, our title company is not, you know, um, educated on how to close via cryptocurrency. Um, but we pretty much told them that I'm going to set up a wallet, which I already have a wallet. And the buyer is going to be sending me um, Ethereum tokens to my wallet equivalent to $10,000. And pretty much what the title company then said is how we're going to classify that is we're just going to classify that as earnest money on the deed, um, oh, sorry, on the, on the HUD and in the closing docs, which will be equivalent to $10,000. And we're just going to include that deduction um, from the actual final closing docs when we go to close. Um, and pretty much guys, it was as simple as that. You know, I told the buyer, um, hey, you know, two days before closing, can you please send the $10,000 in Ethereum tokens to my wallet? It sounds crazy, doesn't it? I bet it does, guys. And But that's pretty much what happened. So the buyer sent $10,000 in Ethereum tokens to my wallet. Um, those tokens hit my wallet. I gave the green light to the title company saying, hey, I received the deposit in Ethereum tokens equivalent to $10,000. Please make sure to record that in the um, in the HUD and um, pretty much we're good to close. Do whatever numbers you need to do and let some close the transaction. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is how we were able to close um, our first ever transaction or at least a portion of it in cryptocurrency. Um, now, here's a question for you guys that I would love to know. Um, anyone that's in the crypto world or, or has invested in crypto or is looking into it or knows about blockchain, how would someone like me go about selling a property in crypto entirely? Um, that's a question for all of you guys, because I still don't know the answer to that. I'd need to do a little bit of research. So if this buyer wanted to buy the entire property in cryptocurrency, how would that work? And how would the title company process um, the, the transaction? Um, because I guess we would have to deed the property to that investor because there wouldn't be any dollar amount on the HUD or would there be a dollar amount on the HUD? Um, but then how would that work for tax purposes? So it's just a, it's just still the unknown, guys. It's, it's amazing where the world is going um, and, and what's happening. And look, what I encourage you guys to do is be at the forefront of that change. Don't eliminate, you know, cryptocurrency and what's going on just because you see it being very volatile. There's actually very good technology behind the cryptocurrencies that makes a lot of sense. And I didn't want to jump on board for such a long time and I just had no choice because I, I realized that it was too big to fail and there's too many companies and people um, that are adopting um, what's going on. And I honestly think that real estate is going to be changed in a big way. Um, so, so definitely, you know, stay tuned um, with what's going on. But all right, I'm going to shut up now. That's pretty much it, guys. That is our first ever experience in cryptocurrency and selling a property in cryptocurrency. Um, hey, any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Everyone out there in the in the crypto world that's that's doing some cool revolutionary things, please comment below. I want to hear from you guys too. Um, and guys, that's pretty much it. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian, and I'll catch you in the next vlog.